Hey, what is up my Trekkie friends? I'm Stu Jackson here with Hailing Frequencies, back with another batch crazy theory video about Picard season three. This week we're going to be talking about the latest episode that dropped, episode nine, Vox. Oh my goodness, wasn't that quite the episode? Well indeed. But before we talk about it, spoiler alert, we will be talking about the details in that episode. So if you haven't watched it yet, go back and watch it now, then come back here and hear my thoughts for the upcoming final episode of Picard Season 3, final episode of Picard Full Stop. So we can expect a lot to come from that. If you need a quick catch up as to where we are, here we go. Right, now that's all out of the way. Everybody's caught up and everybody knows where we are. Now, those of you who have seen the episode will know why I'm wearing this particular snazzy number. Didn't you just love that moment when Picard pulled his top down when he sat down? Yes, I spotted that and I liked it. Love the episode overall. Um, it was certainly very heavy in terms of fan service, but we kind of expected that anyway. And uh, hate to blow my own trumpet, but last week's video, where I theorised that Jack was an organic vinculum, well, they never use the word vinculum in this episode, but uh, looks like I was pretty much on the ball with that. So uh, maybe uh, Terry Metallus has been uh, watching this video. No, they make it months and months, year in advance. Uh, so no, I've not influenced anything, but nor have I seen anything. So yeah, I'm quite proud of myself for that little number. Well, let's see. What we've got so far that we can pull forward into episode 10. Now we know that the Enterprise D is back in commission. The Enterprise E is out of the equation. We don't know why. Something that Worf did presumably. That was not my fault. But who knows what that actually was. Uh, but the Enterprise E out the question. We've seen the Enterprise F now. Wasn't she a beauty? Um, but we know that our crew are on board the Enterprise D. It is not networked to the rest of the fleet, but the entire fleet is all networked together and being controlled by the Borg. So what do I think is going to happen? Just one Galaxy class ship against the entire fleet? It wouldn't stand a chance. I mean, okay, the Galaxy class is very powerful, or it certainly was powerful in its day. But today, not a chance. So here's what I think is going to happen. I think at some point, Admiral Janeway is going to pop up out of the blue. We haven't seen her yet in this series, but she's been referenced a number of times. We're bound to see her. So I think she's going to pop up and there'll be some sort of fail safe that she's been planning for with all this that will help the matter. I suspect that the Enterprise D, the first place they will go to, is the Gerati Borg. Remember the end of season two. I think they will get their help to come back to do some sort of control battle over the fleet as to who's actually controlling it. And don't forget they were able to control that mini fleet at the end of season two because of the Borg modifications in the systems. So I think this is going to backfoot the Borg Queen. I'm pretty sure I recognise Alice Creek's voice there and I'm certain that's who we're going to see. It's sad obviously what happened with Annie and that we're not going to see Annie but I am excited to see Alice Creek back in the role I have to say. I'm assuming it's Alice Creek. Certainly sounds a hell of a lot like it. I have thought of so many names for you. But ultimately, I think it will come down to a battle between Jack's 
organic Borg half and his humanity and the humanity will prevail and that will backfoot the Borg Queen even further allowing the Jurati Borg to seize control of the fleet on behalf of Starfleet and drive them out. That's where I think this is ultimately going to go. Admiral Janeway, I don't know quite where she's going to fit in. I mean, I say she'll probably turn up and there'll be some sort of protocol that she's put in, but um, she's got to appear. Surely, surely she's going to appear. I don't know. But anyway, that's my theory as to where it is going to go in episode 10. All that is left is the wrapping up. Oh, and I have one final, final theory for episode 10. Brace yourselves for this one because I predict Jean-Luc Picard won't survive. Now that's a really big, bold statement, I know, and I know a lot of people won't be happy if that's the case. But we know that this is the absolute end of the Picard seasons. There won't be any more after this. We know that this is the swan song love letter to the next generation. And there's been a lot of build-up with Picard about his guilt saying, as Lacuti, you know, I'm responsible. I'm responsible for passing this on to Jack. So I think ultimately he, it will be some sort of noble heroic sacrifice probably sacrificing himself to save Data the way Data sacrificed himself to save Picard. That's my kind of loose prediction as to what will happen to Jean-Luc at the end of episode 10 or close to the end of episode 10 because there'll be the mopping up of tears and uh, the funeral scene and it will all be very very emotional but speaking of emotional wasn't episode nine a fantastically emotional one i cried a lot of happy tears i'm not ashamed to say there were manly happy tears but they were happy tears indeed but what do you think? Did you enjoy episode 9? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know as well what you think about my theory and whether or not there's any, any meat to that. Or if you have a different theory of your own as to how the whole thing is going to be wrapped up. Do let me know in the comments below. And I also want to hear, because I like to keep these videos going beyond Picard season three and from what I'm seeing about what you're enjoying in these videos you'd like to as well now I've got a couple of ideas I'm going to do a video about the ships behind me the models I'm going to do a video about the uniforms but what else would you like to see videos about between Picard season three and Strange New Worlds Season 2, which is coming in June. So excited for that. So let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in between those two programmes. And if it's doable, we'll do it. In the meantime, so looking forward to episode 10. I can't wait. I hope you can't wait either. Loving Picard. Absolutely. So... Keep watching those episodes, and in the meantime, peace and long life. Live long and prosper, and make it so.